It's been two weeks since hundreds of people, including children and women, were killed following an attack by some militia group who stormed 23 villages and three local government areas. Since the attacks, tension has continued to rise between several ethnic groups with a coalition of Fulani groups expressing fears over their safety. The group, through its chairman, Mohamed Nuru, at a press conference, wants the federal government to come to their aid to avoid further attacks on the Fulanese. He claims that some ethnic nationalities in Plateau State have embarked on ethnic cleansing targeted at a particular ethnic group. Relatives' houses and neighboring states <coughs> so far incredibly as the harsh Amatan provision exists in these areas. This conduct is not only condemnable and provocative, but also constituted constitute collective punishment amounting to genocide and war crime against our people. When an issue occurs between one Fulani boy and Magavul and Murish, then accidentally, they, when they started this uh, fighting, the Fulani uh, beat that uh, Magavul and it causes death. So after that, within two days, the Magavul youths uh, attack areas of marsh in Bokos local government, killing two people, killing uh, about 63 houses, and uh, uh, burning about 256 houses. So the government, especially the government, didn't do anything on the issue. But the coalition of Plateau State indigenous youth and ethnic nationalities say the Christmas Eve attack was a deliberate attempt by the alleged Fulani militia to prevent victims from returning to the ancestral lands. The youths have lost trust and confidence on the personnel, especially personnel of Sector 5 in Bokos local government. The Sector Commander, Lieutenant Colonel Titi Pavi, was accused by eyewitness among the affected communities of giving cover and aiding the killings by the Fulani militias on the claim that the military operation is to protect the minority as claimed by him. At the moment, we have not less than 102 villages, as of last year, that are currently under the occupation of the Marudas, the bandits in the state, and nobody is saying anything. So we are calling that they should be, in short, the local security should be more armed than even the federal security.